in this video I'm going to answer the question whether you actually need a personal website if you're an artist. My name is Michelle and on this channel you'll find art techniques and art business advice so please do consider subscribing and ring the bell for uh, notifications. So do you need a personal website as an artist? Well, the simple answer to that question is yes, you do. Um, but you've possibly been given advice that uh, it's not that important. So I'm going to go through the reasons why you need um, a website of your own and why you might have been advised wrongly by people that you don't need one. So one of the things that people might have said to you is, um, you just need a simple one page website. It's like your business card, you know, just as long as you've got something online, as long as you've got some online presence, um, it's like a business card. Well, let me tell you, um, your website isn't your business card. Your business card is your business card. And when you've given someone your business card, the first thing they're gonna do is look at your website. And if you haven't got a website, they're gonna look at your business card and go, why on earth hasn't this person got a website? It's the 21st century. Okay, so your website is not your business card. So if your website is not your business card, what is your website? Your website is your business premises online. Now, if you were going to buy a computer, would you rather buy it from somebody who was coming knocking door to door saying, I've got these computers to sell, or would you rather buy a computer from someone that had a really nice premises on the high street? They maybe had coffee and they had a nice waiting area. They had a, a customer service um, counter, and everything that made you feel reassured. Okay. That's how people feel when they see a good website. They feel they trust you more. Now, of course, you can make a website for free. You'll say, well, anyone can make a website. Anyone can make a website for free. But even free websites take time and they take effort. And people know this. And so you will be trusted more if you have a proper website. Another thing you may have been told is that people don't buy from personal websites. There's no point having a website. Nobody will buy anything from you. Now, to some extent, this is true because um, it's very hard to get buyers on a personal website, but your website is not just for direct buyers who will click a link and buy. You may, for that, you may have to have a selling shop like Etsy or eBay or something like that. But your website will be working for you all the time. And I can't tell you the amount of um, business contacts I've had, the amount of um, inquiries and the amount of new customers and a good website will drive those things to you all day long. So someone may have said to you, well, I had a website, cost me 20 pounds a month and it was rubbish. I never got any sales, never got any traffic. It was just an absolute waste of time. There's no point having a personal website. Nobody finds it, nobody sees it, nobody uses it. Now, every time I hear someone give advice like that, it just makes me want to hit my palm into my forehead because what the person is saying is, well, I made a rubbish website. I put no effort into it. I didn't bother to learn what the search engines were looking for or to make it um, engaging. I didn't put any useful content on it or any good photos. And well, surprise, surprise, it didn't work for me. Now, when people tell you that websites don't work, what they are telling you is that they have not made websites work for them. Okay, so websites are, oh, you know, they're, they're pretty much um, obligatory in the modern world. And if someone tells you that their website has been a waste of time for them, all they mean is they haven't made a good website. So a website will only work if you put some effort in. It's just like anything else in this world. It does not fall into your lap. You can't make some minimal effort website of one page and expect it to do you any good whatsoever. Now, one of the main reasons you need a website is because younger people, and I am over 50 now, my daughter is uh, mid twenties. Let me tell you, people of her age, they look for everything online. It doesn't matter what it is, things you would never think of looking for online. Young people look online for it first. It's absolutely the first place they go. So if they're looking for art classes for their kids, if they're looking for a painting for the lounge, if they're looking for an architect, if they're looking for somebody to illustrate something for them, whatever they're looking for, they're going to pick up their phone and straight away they're onto Google. It is just the first place they look. So for an awful lot of the population, if you don't have a website, you do not exist. 
Now, perhaps you get most of your sales through um, eBay or Etsy. And so perhaps you think, well, there's no point in me having a personal website. I can just use, um, you know, I can use Facebook to get all my sales. It's working for me. I'll just stick with that. Now, if all your sales are coming through a third party website, you should be very worried indeed. Now, that's not just scaremongering. There have been so many examples of third party websites that have completely screwed over their users. So example one, Cafe Press. Um, it's a print on demand site. You could put upload images and you could sell them on t-shirts and things. Overnight, Cafe Press decided to just um, reduce the amount of commission that their um, sellers were getting down to 10%. And people were making a livelihood on that and they lost it overnight. Um, Squidoo, that's one that got me personally. Squidoo was a writing platform. I'm quite good at writing. So I had a few articles on Squidoo and I was making a little bit of money. Um, Seth Godin, who owns Squidoo, decided overnight that he was going to sell it to somewhere called Hub Pages. Um, the articles got automatically um, imported onto this website that I had never signed up for. Um, the owners contacted me and told me that they were going to make numerous changes to my <laughs> to my articles, all of which were appallingly bad. Um, and so I deleted my account. YouTube itself, that's something that um, the people got caught out by. People were making a lot of money out of adverts on YouTube and overnight, YouTube just decided to um, change the, uh, the amount of views and things that you needed in order to get your adverts to pay. Uh, they called it the adpocalypse. So um, lots of people lost money over that one. Facebook is one of the worst. It, ch it changes algorithms at the blink of an eye and you have no way of knowing. Just because you're getting sales through Facebook doesn't mean that uh, Facebook will continue to support you. I have even known people that have fallen foul of Facebook and it's not often done on purpose. Sometimes just some little rule they didn't realize and Facebook have deleted their account and all their images and all their text without notice because they will delete first and ask questions afterwards. And the reason for that is they're such a big organization. They just don't have time to look into everything personally. So they use, uh, they use technology and robots to sort this stuff out and they don't always get it right. Now, Chris Ducker um, wrote a book called um, Rise of the Youpreneur, which is uh, it's a fabulous book. I recommend it for anybody that's looking to promote themselves personally. And what he said about websites and about uh, third party sites was never build your house on rented land. Now, when you use third party websites exclusively, you have built your house on third party land and you have no control over what happens to it. So this is one of the main reasons why you absolutely need your own website because it's your backup plan. It's where everything should be um, a hub. So your own website should be, um, it should be like a planet and then the smaller websites that you're using should be like satellites revolving around it. Now, the next reason you should definitely have a website is because if you um, approach a gallery or a newspaper or anybody that you need to do business with, they are gonna go straight to your website and have a look and check you out. And yes, they are judging you. Um, one of the things that I do is I run the local art fair and each year I have to select over 50 artists and people contact me and say, can you have a look at my artwork? And I'm gonna hope that they've got a website. If they haven't got a website, you know, frankly, I'm gonna be unimpressed. That may not be fair, but it's just uh, it's just modern life. And when I go to their website, I'm going to hope that I'm going to find out some information about them. I'm going to see some nice, clear photos of their artwork. And I'm going to think, yes, I really like this person. They're professional. They've got it together and I like their work and I want them in the art fair. Finally, um, I want to speak to uh, excuses that you might have for not having a proper website. So first of all, you might say, well, I haven't got enough money. Well, let me tell you, there are free platforms out there and you can build a very, very nice website using a free platform. In fact, I would almost suggest that it's better to have a free platform than a cheap platform. If you've got money, it's helpful, but if you haven't, it can still be done. So perhaps you're gonna to say to me, well, um, I don't have time to be constantly um, updating my website. I'm really busy. You know, maybe you've got kids, you've got animals, you've got full-time job, um, maybe you've got illness, so you're looking after someone with illness. There are lots of things that go on in our lives that give us um, very little time. But let me assure you that people under very different, difficult circumstances have managed to do this. Um, you know, I was a single mother when I started my website and um, things were tough for me and I had no money. 
Um, but I still uh, found a little bit of time to do it. So ask yourself, you know, how many hours did you spend um, watching TV this week? And how important is you, it to you that you succeed? Because um, your website is one of the main things that's, that's going to give you success as an artist. So I hope you found that helpful and um, I hope it's convinced you that you do need a website. Um, I'll probably do some more videos on um, how to make a website and um, search engine optimization and things like that. So do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you click the little bell, um, you'll get notifications and you'll find out when I've got a new video out. So let me know in the comments if you've got a website. Um, if it's been helpful for you or if this has uh, made you think that maybe you need to uh, update it a little bit or that you need to uh, get started on making a website.